Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry and today we're going to show you the new Grey Wolf 25RR. This is another toy hauler floor plan that is very similar to the 26RR that's been very popular. Um, the difference between the two mainly is the 25RR has the hall to the bedroom where the 26RR uh, you pass through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. 26RR would have a little bit more garage space than the 25RR, so um, whatever your preference is. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this will have your power awning, your power stabilizer jacks, and your power tongue jack. And we'll start up front here with your power tongue jack. And you have your extend retract switch here. You do have a light switch right here at the top. Your light is on the bottom, shining down where you're actually hooking up to. You also see it does have the adjustable foot pad at the bottom. Behind the tongue jack is a dual 20 pound LP tank uh, with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into the valve on your tank. There are two bars here. This is where we would mount your battery and box. Um, if you do any dry camping, you have room to mount up to two. Um, and then this would also have your front radius uh, cap so nice wind dynamics there does have your diamond plate rock guard at the bottom as we move around to this side here uh, like I mentioned if you do dry camping there is a portable solar panel port here that you can connect a portable solar panel to to maintain your batteries on the front front storage a lot of nice storage here this does go back in underneath the bed so you can access this from the outside or the inside and then down below is your electric stabilizer jacks. Uh, I do have this in the down position so you can see what it looks like. But basically how that works is when one leg comes down and hits the ground before the other, it applies a small amount of pressure until the other side does likewise. And then they go together at that point. And then right here in the front is an LP quick connect. So if you do have an outdoor grill and like to tap into your two 20-pound uh, LP tanks on the front, you can do that through that port does have a, I believe, a 15-foot awning here. This is a power awning. does have your blue LED light underneath the awning for you. Also has an easy adjustment on each end to adjust the pitch of your awning. So if it's raining, it can run off. And um, if it does, if you do happen to forget to set that, uh, after two gallons of water is on the awning, it's supposed to trip and dump it itself. Uh, at your entry door, you do have your stable step here. This is a solid step that sets on the ground. Uh, it does have an adjustment on each side right here so you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground. But this is uh, a lot of good feedback on this. Uh, people love this. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dealing with a cold. But this does uh, set up easy uh, and take down. So. By opening your entry door, by the way, which is a friction hinge door, as you can see, um, this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. We do not have the latches like we've had in the past that get brittle and break over time or you forget to unlatch and tear them out. But basically you open your entry door, you lift it up and there's a tab on each side that rests against your door jam. You do have a latch on the left hand side that latches into the door jam. And at that point, you close your entry door and flip your uh, grab handle over the door, and you're ready to go. So it cleans everything up, and you don't have that bounce as people go in and out of the camper like the old suspended step. Outside entertainment, uh, you do have blue LED speakers on each side of the window, along with a TV bracket uh, down below. This is compatible to the one on the inside, so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside, slide it in out here, you can do that, and then you have your connections over here to the right. We do order upgraded aluminum rims with ours instead of the uh, regular steel rims that do come along with it. Uh, they also have radial tires. They're not the cheap bias tires. and you have tire pressure monitors on your stems. It does have the number 65 showing the tire pressure that needs to be in there. And also if your tire pressure gets low, that will turn to red signifying you need to add more air for you. I also removed the center cap here so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. 
I believe that covers everything on this side. We'll move on to the back. Do you have your lease latch for, so if you do have pets, you do have a lease latch mounted here for you towards the back. And I do have the uh, ramp door down. Uh, if you look at the pictures on our website, I do have this in the various positions. So you can see what it looks like, but to load your toys, you basically fold your end gates into the side gates, pull a pin right here on each side to lower your ramp door, and you would load your toys. And to put the patio away, then you would pull one pin right here front and back, fold the uh, patio system down on the door on each side, and then you would close your door and latch it. So it's very uh, basic, simple to set up and take down. Uh, might be hard to see, but at the top between the clearance lights, there's an additional bracket. That is a bracket for a backup camera. So it is prepped and ready for the backup camera if you'd like to add that. And you also see the screen wall that is rolled up there. If you look at the pictures, I do have that down so you can see what that looks like. Okay, we'll move over to the driver's side. Not a whole lot over here. We do have a sewer hose carrier underneath here for you. So you do have a tube to store your sewer hose in. Then we have your 30 amp connection. This does come with a detachable cord. So it's not a cord that you're pulling out and pushing back in, taking away from storage on the inside. Uh, it is a separate cord and that is included. We also have a uh, scare light over on this side now by your hookup center. So if you're hooking up after dark, you can uh, have a turn on light for you. Uh, right beside the outside shower is your black tank flush. So after you dump your black tank, which would be your toilet wastewater, there is a sprayer on the back side of the tank. So you can connect a hose to this to rinse the tank out if you'd like. Outside shower along with your hot and cold. And you also have your cable hookup. So if you're at a park that does have cable hookup, you are ready for that. Underneath the outside shower is your city fill and your gravity fill. Your city fill is where you connect your hose at a campsite. Your freshwater connection is where you fill your freshwater tank if you're dry camping. And then you would turn on your water pump switch on the inside. Down below is your dump station. <clears throat> You'll notice the gray handle and then there's a black handle. Your black handle would be your black tank, which is your toilet. Your gray handle is your gray tank, which would be your shower and your kitchen sink, and that all dumps out of this one port. And then lastly up front is your six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition, and you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric, and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look on the lower left hand corner right here, there's an on and off switch. That's the electric side of the water heater. And then I'll show you the gas switch on the inside uh, here in a little bit. So I believe that concludes the outside of the 25RR by Grey Wolf. And now we'll move to the inside. As we come into the entry door, uh, your hallway is directly to the right, going to the bathroom and your bedroom. Uh, right straight in to the left is your kitchen on the opposing side. We have your dinette towards the back, and then you have your cargo area directly to the left. We're going to start right inside your entry door. These are your interior, exterior light switches and your awning switch. And then I do want to stand back <clears throat> and go over the floor here. You do have tie downs in the floor, as you can see here. Uh, you'll notice also right in front of your dinette, and then you'll have some towards the back side of your dinette as well. You do have a bump out here over the wheel well, so you can, um, that may interfere on depending what for toy you have. So that is about, I would say, four inches tall. And I do have measurements as well uh, from side to side and length if you look at the pictures on our website. In the ceiling here in the kitchen area, there is a skylight and that does have a integrated shade in it. So if you'd like to open that for more light, you can do that. The dinette in the back, if you, again, if you look at the pictures, I do have that in the various positions, but you can collapse the table, slide the cushions together, give you sleeping room, 
and or you can flip those up against the wall to bring in your toys. Do have a overhead cabinet above the dinette on the right hand side. We also have glass inserted cabinet doors in the overhead in the kitchen. Um, and then we have your microwave and your range hood. And stepping back here a little bit to show you the kitchen. So you do have a bank of two drawers, cabinet doors, your oven, your stove top, and your refrigerator. Behind the kitchen countertop is your monitor panel. This is where you check your black, gray, and fresh water tank levels, your battery level, and then, like I mentioned, on your gas side of the water heater, the gas switch would be on the left, and if you dry camp, the turn on the water pump would be on the right. This does come with a flush-mounted sink cover, uh, giving you more countertop space if you're not using your sink. That is a large stainless steel single bowl sink. It is the farmhouse style looking sink along with your high rise uh, kitchen faucet there. You do have the oven and this does have a light on the right hand side. There is a blue LED light around each knob. It does have a flush mounted glass in uh, glass drop in cooktop with a bifold cover giving again giving you more countertop space if you're not using your stove and that folds back and also serves as a splash guard and that is a three burner stove top. Refrigerator is an eight cubic foot <clears throat> does have your separate freezer compartment this is gas and electric and it is automatic so if you do plug in it will automatically try for electric uh, if not there, it will kick over and try your gas, or if you have a power outage, if, if your LP is turned on um, at the front of the unit, uh, it will automatically kick over to your gas and continue running. Uh, entertainment center. At the bottom is just a, a cavity as you come inside to kick the sandals off. There, you do have some cabinet storage at your entertainment center. You have your stereo would be here. Uh, it does have an HDMI port along with Bluetooth capabilities. And then we have your TV bracket and your connections above that in the ceiling. Moving back into the hallway to the bathroom, uh, before we get there, I want to touch on the thermostat. This is a touch screen. This is what operates your furnace and your air conditioner. And in the bathroom, you do have your toilet set up that you do have the leg room you're looking for, stand up corner shower, medicine cabinet, and a lavatory. And this also has your Create a Breeze bath fan in the bathroom as well. Uh, I'm going to step on through the bathroom and then I'm going to turn around and show you there is additional um, storage in the bathroom behind your door just at the top so at the bottom is the back side of your entertainment cavity uh, out there in the kitchen area there is a skylight above your stand-up corner shower as well and you can see it does have your ducted AC throughout the unit and now into lastly in the master bedroom we have your wardrobe on each side of a queen bed along with overhead cabinets so a lot of nice storage there and like I mentioned on the outside there is storage accessible from the inside and you do see it does come with your spare tire on each side of the bed there is a USB port along with a receptacle so you do have a his and a hers and the wardrobe does have a closet rod in there for you as well uh, just turn around here a little bit at the foot of the bed you do have your bathroom door and your hall door and all the way to the right is an additional TV bracket along with connections so if you'd like to add one in the bedroom area it is ready for that I believe that concludes the inside of the 25 RR I will do one more brief walkthrough for you Again, we are the Outpost RV. 
You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.